President Schulz, dear Vice President Manginez, dear colleague Commissioner Kretsu, dear colleagues of the European Parliament, distinguished guests. It's with great pleasure and honor that I'm here tonight to address the celebration of the 40th anniversary of the European Union Visitors Program. Let me first convey the congratulation and greetings of uh, Vice President Federica Mogherini, who, due to unforeseen obligations, she, can, she cannot be present tonight. Dear friends, we are here today to celebrate a very unique European study program. Since 1974, the European Union Visitors Program allows young scholars and future leaders from outside the EU to learn about what is Europe, about how, how Europe works. It is not just about the functioning of our institutions. It's about our values, our objectives. It is about understanding what we stand for. Visitors from all over the world have the chance to explore their specific topics of interest through meetings with interlocutors from the Parliament, the Commission, and other institutions or agencies. But the exchange is not only beneficial for them. We also get the opportunity to look our, at ourselves, to see ourselves through the eyes of someone else, to better understand who we are as a union, to reflect on the road we have traveled so far and to look at the road ahead. In today's world, Europe and its partners face common challenges. And as you know, global challenges call for global answers. We can only succeed if we all cooperate towards our shared goals. Cooperation becomes much easier when we all speak the same language. When our young, young generations share strong ties and mutual trust. When we are fully aware of our collective responsibility. The visitor program with its often informal and, flat and friendly atmosphere is the perfect setting for these ties to develop. Since the beginning of the program, 40 years ago, some of its former young EUVP participants have taken up position of considerable importance. The example is here. <laughs> Not to mention those who have even become EU Commissioner or Prime Minister of their home country. These are not simply visitors' program. They are platforms for dialogue, for dialogue. This is why the Commission and the European External Action Service value the visitor program so highly. Visitors make an important contribution to a common EU foreign policy, a policy that is rooted in mutual understanding. Some call it soft diplomacy. I will say it is the basis for strong, far-reaching and effective diplomacy. The EU delegations play a key role in the success of the visitor program as they propose the candidates who participate in the program. It is an important responsibility. On behalf of my good colleague, High Representative Federica Mogherini, I call on them to do their best to keep to the great tradition of the program. Ultimately, this program is an investment in peace. It is a tool against ignorance. It is a platform to promote dialogue on fundamental rights, such as equality, freedom of expression, and tolerance. 
we are proud to celebrate our 40th anniversary. We look forward to many more fruitful years of cooperation and exchange. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.